Hello once again YouTube. Welcome back to The Domain. I'm joined by Mega Dad once again. The third time we've done one of these unboxings and today we have something remarkable in front of us. This is the RS Turbo 3D printer. And Hey Gears reached out to me and sent me this kit. I thought that I was just receiving a basic 3D printer. This is a state-of-the-art piece of kit with washing and curing station. And we just got to thank Hey Gears for sending us this really, really top spec. I'm really excited to unbox this I once have. again with Mega Dad. Uh, you've become a household name on the channel at this point. <laughs> Forewarning, we are not experts in any way, shape or form no. with 3D printing. We have reviewed a 3D printer once before, but it was filament. And filament is very different to this resin printer. Because my channel is just 3D miniatures, I just specialize in Halo Mega Constructs, Halo Mega Blocks. A filament printer can't print that level of detail, but this thing is literally marketed as a miniature printer. So hopefully by the end of this, we'll have printed some Halo Mega. Yeah. I'm just excited, let's crack on. Let's get all these boxes onto the table because- One, two, three. Oh, that's too high. Yeah, that's all right. It's just for a dramatic effect. Just an outrageous amount of kit. We've got a package of equipment here. We don't really know what all of this does. Printer itself, curing station. Washing station. A ton of uh, resin, like actually so much resin. Let's get the 3D printer set up and start work. Whoa, Whoa. Oh, that is so well packaged. That is a smart looking piece of kit. That is gorgeous. Thing with this, Sam, I mean, there doesn't seem to be a lot of assembly to do. It's, we seem to have just got one component. Some of the other things we reviewed, we've had a couple of hours to build the thing. Looks like it's almost ready to go. To actually own a resin printer after all these years. We've got life. We've got life. Whoa. We have to just make micro adjustments with the alum key and it'll tell us in real time how level each of the numbers are. Resin, volcanic gray or ash gray. I still can't understand how this is going to take that liquid resin out of that tank and build this thing upside down. Also, how does, where does the spare resin go? I have no idea. I am lost right now, but I'm very excited to see what happens next. Is that all you did? Just put it onto that Just grid. put it on. It's just automatically added all the support structure. That's just remarkable. On this app, I can literally view the ambient temperature and ambient humidity of the machine, and it'll tell me what percentage is left in the resin cartridge. All right, so we've been informed that the print is ready and finish. So we're gonna remove it right now and see what happens. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Oh, I don't know what that is. There is a grunt there. It's just not complete. <laughs> We are three days into 3D printing, and to be honest, it hasn't been that successful so far. After asking a couple of my friends, it seems that the issue was that the tank wasn't filled enough. It was below the minimum fill line. So we're gonna try a Master Chief bus now, see if that's any different. All right, let's see it. Come on. Have we hit gold? Oh. <laughs> so this was a really strange issue, like there was nothing there, so it basically never started. I put the Master Chief in the exact same spot that I put the grunt that failed, so some debris was probably in the liquid and that made it fail. The funny thing is, I think I'm gonna go back to the grunt. I've also learned that it's better to lay it on its side for print time. And hopefully it's the one. The second attempt at a grunt worked. Oh, that looks promising. All right, good luck, John. You know what? That might just be a grunt. If it gets washed off, that might actually be a miniature grunt. That is hopefully a successfully printed Friggin'. I don't know judging by that, but it certainly might be. Let's just take a little closer look here. Really happy with that as a first attempt. It just took no effort whatsoever, really. And the most impressive thing about this is the auto supports. It's pretty much just click and go. Folks, dare I say we've had some back-to-back -back wins. So what is the next logical thing to do? An army of grunts. <laughs> got the notification that all of the grunts are ready. I'm kind of nervous because that's a lot of grunts at once and I really hope it worked itself out. Oh, my grunty boy. <laughs> One dislodged here, 
and then you can see there's a little bit sticking out at the back. So some of them have failed, but I think most have succeeded. There's some that have failed there. I think in general, there's quite a lot of successful grunts there. Yeah. We can stick them in the wash. <laughs> We're dancing. We're going for it. All right, folks, so after some struggling, some real learning involved uh, a lot of mistakes, we've finally cracked the code, or at least we seem to have cracked a bit of the code. These little grunty boys are actually a success. Look at them. They're really highly detailed. I genuinely can't believe I made these. They're, like, actually crazy. It may as well be witchcraft to me. We created all these beautiful grunts and yeah there were a lot of failures and some of them uh, just generally lost limbs uh, mainly because I just couldn't quite get the settings right or I pulled them out of their frames, their support structures a little too aggressively. The Gek Lahar has been demoted after Halo 4 and he's, <laughs> he's raising the grunts in the grunt nursery. Like that's so funny how we can create these little itty bitty, like look at the detail on these things. The next step, can we create actual Halo Mega? A few shout outs are in order, particularly to every single member of this community. The 3D modeling and printing space just blows me away consistently. While there are no new products on shelves, you keep this hobby alive. And a particular shout out to Jeremiah who reached out and helped guide me through a lot of this process. He provided me with some of JMac Paint's prints that are being used in this video. And you can actually license these prints from his Patreon and print your own models today. And one more shout out to Wombat Customs who provided a lot of guidance and advice. Really it has been a wonderful process so far. 3D printers were always out of the realm of possibility for me because I just didn't have the level of expertise. But I think the Reflex RS is genuinely just a click and drop kind of printer. I cannot believe how streamlined the entire process has been. From taking a file to adding the automatic supports and just printing. I could see this being something that I implement into my Shopify in the future. And this 3D printer is 100% designed from the ground up for 3D miniatures. I mean, the perfection that you can achieve on such a small scale, it is ideal for hobby craft enthusiasts. Now let's print some Halo Mega. printing job just finished. So we're about to see if we can legitimately print Halo Mega using this printer. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. Elite print one finished. Let's see it. Ooh, I think that might actually be some elites that might have actually worked. So Mega Dad, you join us once more in the studio and we're looking at the final results for this video. To be honest, the fact that we picked this up two days ago, the, it was ready to go straight out of the box and pretty much all the slicing has just been done automatically by yep. the software. It's been quite remarkable. It said minimum fill level, but we ignored that. <laughs> yeah. And our second mistake was the temperature. There's been a few, but at the end of the day, we created these little grunts. Aren't they just remarkable they are, for the yeah. size? Yeah. yeah. But we set out today with one main task and that is to create Halo Mega Blocks, Halo Mega Constructs. And I think we might have done it. Have we? This is an elite, right? You're familiar yeah. with this. It's one of the main army builders. We've got a few different elites that we printed. So you can see here, these are straight out of the printer. They've still got all of the supports. Do you have to design the supports, Sam? No, they're automatically placed. Already. That is a really nice looking elite But egg. shall we see if it pops on? Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. We printed that. Yeah. We downloaded a file. Remarkable. And we printed it, and it's straight on that elite. What else have you got? Let's see if we can separate it. There we are, that was a clean break. And does that go on? 
Yes, it, it does. does. Precise. Wow. <laughs> Remarkable. That's actually so sick. So if you actually, you've done this in, in three days. So if you actually worked on this, and it's easy to use, isn't it? Pop it on. <laughs> There's a lot of different, basically, companies now that are just individual fans online that have uh, full businesses where they're printing these um, and they're releasing them in specific drops. Can you believe that? No, I can't. Oh my God. We've got some chests. You know what? I've absolutely no idea how it does this. I have no, I have no idea. The filament 3D printer, you can see the filament moving around and you can see it build it up, but this emerges from the bath of resin and there it is. <laughs> that is, I mean, we did that with no yeah, effort, did, yeah. basically, with basically no effort. The only real effort was time. Yeah, that's really good. Well done. Mega Dad, I would call that a resounding success. We have officially printed Halo Mega Pieces. Just want to thank you once again for joining in the studio. I've enjoyed it some. Oh yeah, absolutely. And look, they've got their little, uh, the little grunt sidekicks as well. <laughs> and thank you so much again to Hay Gears for sending us the RS Turbo. Yeah, this is the half-made grunt. Signing off. <laughs>